to my channel it's your girl absolutely me thank you guys for tuning in to my channel if you're new here thank you for coming through if you're yet to know about my channel and you're also new here as well um thank you my name is absolutely me we film about lifestyle vlogs and all those jazz please kindly show your support by subscribing and to my old subscribers to my the one the ones thank you guys for coming back again to my video to always supporting me for liking for sharing i really do appreciate it and so you guys can already tell it's vlogmas too baby vlogmas too and i'm so excited to be doing to be doing <laughs> I'm so excited to be talking about this guys because of I feel like people really don't talk about it much and which is things I wish I knew about moving out that no one really tell me so guys I've got my notes in a pad so the first thing will be the loud silence guys nobody literally warned me about the fact that it's going to be this very quiet when it, when I'm living alone like literally don't get me wrong, I love a quiet place. I'm a quiet person by nature. But the fact is that, right, it's quiet. It's extremely quiet. But I do like it majority of the time. I do like it because I'm able to like meditate, think, um, able to like do whatever I need to do that helps me with my mental health. So I really don't find it as a problem. But because I come from a household where there's always noise not too much noise but like there's always like things going on is there tv or sisters coming to disturb you or parents calling you that's the difference for me actually it makes a big difference but i am happy that there is silence <laughs> yeah. next one is budgeting okay although i already budgeted before even when i was living in my parents house but living alone can enforce a bit more budgeting if you get what i mean in terms of like you know that you have to pay your bills electricity all of those sorts sorts, sorts phone bill yada 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 it kind of enforced me to literally budget more now i've got like a spreadsheet on my phone which i literally like all my bills on there and um which really helps me a lot by the way budgeting living alone kind of literally force you more to budget because when i was at my parents house like i can literally go to shop and buy uh, a 200 pounds bag i know i'm silly but that was at the time when i used to live at my parents house but now like i have to think wisely do i really do need this bag if i don't need this bag maybe i need to come back for this bag you get what i mean but yeah that's it about budget and the third one is like i tend to like find myself doing more stuff in terms of like 50 percent i spent 50 percent more like planning things for myself you get what i mean doing things for myself if it's like going to get my nails done for example going to get my hair done going to get my lashes done by myself going to like um like cooking doing cooking shopping um going to the movies um watching netflix and chilling by myself like i feel like since when I started living alone now, like I have to literally spend 50% of my time focusing on myself more. Because of course, I would love to chill with friends and everything, but they have their own life and I can't be disturbing everybody. And I feel like it kind of helped me more as well too. So the fourth one would be environment. I feel like it's very important to choose the environment that represents you. I feel like I'm, I'm staying in a for sure right now. And I feel like the environment I'm staying in right now really fits me really suits me of course i talk about uh, loud silence but i love the loud silence maybe it's a little bit extreme but i do not mind the loud silence the fact that my area is very very quiet it's very important to choose an area where like there's not a lot going on there's no pop there's no there's no beats there's no like gra -gra going around there's no um you can you cannot hear like people shouting for for their children to come inside there's no like there's a big park but like it's not really close close to where i stay like it's just very very nice i love the environment i also said that um the fact that it's not even close to too many shops like i get to like walk down to literally get some like fresh air it's very nice actually guys it's very very nice because when i used to live in london like of course, London actually to me is one of the busiest places in the UK. 
because there's a lot of things going on, especially if you stay in East London to be precise. Like East London is very busy. East London is kind of to me a ghetto area. But like I still enjoyed my time then when I lived there. Like I really did enjoy my time. And um fifth one, if I'm not wrong, is the fact that I got to become Bob the Builder. If you guys don't know who Bob the Builder is, please search in the TV show called Bob the Builder. So it's about like um a guy that literally fixed stuff. It's like a children TV show which I used to watch back in the days. Um so basically I become Bob the Builder. When I used to live in my parents' house, I do not usually fix stuff basically. If anything broke, my dad does it because he's the man of the house. But whereas here, I'm the man of my house. I'm the woman of my house. I get to make decisions for myself. If anything broke, I can't, I kind of have to fix it for myself. Um, if it's something I can't be able to do, I, I tend to like literally leave it, um, get someone else to do it for me by someone else, me professionals. Or if my friends come and they want to help me, they help me with it. You get what I mean? So like, in terms of being Bob the Builder, I feel like living alone tends to mold you to become Bob the Builder because you fix everything for yourself, like literally everything. And like, it kind of helped me with my skills as well, like really helped me. Like the other day now, what, something happened with my boiler, like like I couldn't get hot water and I literally had to go on YouTube. I'm like, how do you fix this? And I literally fixed it. I was so happy. Guys, I was so happy. I'm like, yes, Bob the Builder in the building. <laughs> I'm so silly, but yeah. Next one, um, safety. We, I feel like safety kind of links to environment a bit because it's very important also to think about where you're living in terms of like safety. Like you don't want to be living in a place where the gun and knife crime is high. You don't want to be living in a place where like um there's volcano erupting outside or there's construction 24 7 always going on um you don't want on terms of also safety too like i also find myself ensuring that before i leave this house all my electricity is switched off like no little one is on okay maybe the only one on the only thing on in this house is the fridge at all times because of course, I store my food and everything. I preserve my meals. But apart from the fridge and freezer being turned on, nothing is on in this house as soon as I leave. Um, because I, I tend to spend most of my time in London. So like, I'm like, why do I need to be leaving all this electricity on? Which is part of safety too. Like you can never know. And yeah, you can never know what can happen, you know? So it's best to be safe than sorry. And going back to the fact that the terms of the environment, it's very important also, like, look at the area. Just look, look, make sure that you are also pleased with it because your prior, your safety actually comes first than anything else. So, guys, these are the things, like, people don't really tell you. Okay, if you like this kind of content, please kindly like. So, don't forget to subscribe. And, yes, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>